in one of my previous sessions, I showed you how you can install the Interceptor extension for Chrome, and you can start capturing requests and cookies using a Interceptor debug session. So it will capture cookies based on the filter you set for a particular domain, and you can see all the cookies, all the methods, uh, and all the requests which are being captured while you are browsing uh, on your Chrome browser. In this particular session, we are going to see how you can sync your cookies with your Chrome browser so that you can authenticate into a particular app without even entering any username and password. So let's get started. Now, uh, I have opened github.com and I am already authenticated. So I am already logged in with my user and password. So it is showing all the repositories and all the things um, in my github.com account, right? Now, uh, when I go to Postman and I create a new request and I go to github.com, okay? I send this request and here we'll get the response. We can also do a preview of this response. Okay, so it will actually show the HTML uh, as the response, HTML page. And here you can see uh, it is the github.com um, and it's not signed in, right? So the, there is so there is no user which is signed into this github.com page, right? Because it's the home page. Now, let's see how we can use the sync cookies feature in Postman to automatically sign in into this github.com using or syncing the cookies between the browser which is already open and already signed into github.com okay so on the bottom of the postman app you will see there is a cookies option when you open this cookies option you will see that there are two options manage cookies and sync cookies now I can directly add a domain in manage cookies, but let's not do that. We have to go to sync cookies, right? Uh, obviously the first prerequisite is to have your intercepted installed and connected. So you can see my interceptor is already connected. I can also use the proxy option, but we'll see that later. Uh, with interceptor, I need to provide a domain or a list of domains, okay? Uh, which uh, I want to sync with. So right now I'm going to sync it with github.com. So I'm going to add this domain here and I'm going to click on start syncing. So once you do that, let's go back to github.com and to this get request. Let's send this again. And this time around, you will see that my github.com will already authenticate using the cookies which are present in the browser which is already opened right so it is syncing the cookies automatically between my github.com open on the chrome browser and my github.com request which i have sent so it will automatically authenticate using the same user and also if you go back to the cookies page, you will see and the manage cookies, there are 11 cookies which are already added under github.com. Okay, and uh, there is a cookie called logged underscore n, which is probably logging uh, or authenticating the user uh, in this github.com domain. So this is how you can use sync cookies feature in Postman to uh, sync your cookies between your browser and Postman, and you can uh, bypass the authentication using the sync cookies.